Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Toast here coming at you with a my first video on the channel in a long, long time. And it's something that sort of sparked an energy in me. And I'm kind of looking forward to uh, covering this as well as other awesome games on the channel. But guys, today we're going to be talking about the June War Table stream for Marvel's Avengers by Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix. They uh, did a stream yesterday. I was going to try to drop this video yesterday, but unfortunately life got in the way and editing did not happen. Um, but it's what happens. Life comes in. Life comes first. Life always comes first. But what we're going to be talking about today, guys, is the entire stream. We're going to talk about some things that they talked about. I've sort of got to summarize and things I want to hit on. But we're going to start first with the MODOK threat trailer. We're going to talk about MODOK, why they chose him as a villain. We're going to then talk about the co-op and war zones. And then we're going to talk a little bit about customizations and stuff like that. Things that I I took note and I really liked from the live stream, guys. So, with that being said, we're going to start off with the MODOK threat trailer. And we're going to talk a little bit about it, what I see during that. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, kick it off here, guys. Alright. Here's the trailer. Got the Marvel comic logo thing. Uh, I love every time I see that in the theaters. <laughs> I've already seen the trailer, but I found an orphan wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. Don't know why my volume was down there. <laughs> I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the real power of that beast. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me. We're fixing the damage the Avengers did all those years ago. In all the damage, huh? So we know there's a time scale. We know that much. It's dangerous. It's lethal. You are lucky to be alive. Come on, Kamala. Let AIM help you. I'll take my chances. What if the Avengers were set up? I think you should see for yourself. Mr. Stark help us with this? Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? This better be good. He totally locked Captain Reactor and then he tried to jack the Chimera. Son of a... Have you all completely lost your senses? What, where <clears throat> were you while the world went to hell? This is our fault. All of ours. You really think the world is better without us? Yes. See, it's always been your problem. Yes. Running from who you are, what you are. I am warning you. This is exactly what Tarleton wants! We got Hulk versus Iron Man, which is always a fun thing to have. Against the, unstoppable time. the Adeptoids! So that right there was the trailer, the Modoc threat trailer. And honestly, throughout the entire thing, I did enjoy a lot of things. A few things that did stick out to me when they were talking in the uh, live stream was they were talking about Modoc as a villain. And something I am excited for. So they start off with 8A, as we all know, that 8A is the catalyst that starts the entire story. And when this happens here in San Francisco, it apparently gives people superpowers. And of course, they call them Inhumans. Which is pretty dope, in my opinion, because I love the Inhumans and all that stuff. It's awesome. And uh, But I, Advanced Idea Mechanics, which is our villain, along with MODOK, thinks to the, them to be a plague, a sickness. Something that needs to be cured. And so they start capturing Inhumans to test on them, not only to find a cure but also to power up their Adaptoid program, which if you are a uh, fan of Marvel, you know what the Adaptoids are and how they are actually, even though they are pretty basic like machinery villain, they are a threat. The Adaptoids are a threat because they can adapt. That is the name. <laughs> and the reason they uh, talk, they talk in the live stream about why they chose MODOK as a villain and they said it perfectly was... Um, 
quote was when choosing a villain they wanted someone with the muscle and mental capacities to be an avengers level threat that is an avengers level threat not a bad way to start i like that it's more grounded there are other villains that were, are more grounded that they could have chose as well, but the going idea with MODOK and advanced idea mechanics is awesome in its own right. Like, they could have gone with Ultron. They could have gone with maybe somehow bringing Red Skull into this. But I think just having MODOK as a start is a great way to start the story. Because they talk also during the um, during the live stream, they talked about, yeah, we're going to add more stuff. We're going to add DLC. We're going to add stories. And it, apparently, it's all free of charge, which is freaking fantastic. But they're going to add more, so they can always bring in Ultron later. Like, I'm honestly happy they didn't go the way every Marvel game goes. And like, okay, big bad Thanos, let's move on to the next game we're going to develop. Because we can't bring out any other DLC at this point. Because we went straight to the biggest bad of the biggest bads and... You get where I'm going at. I like that they're going to try to do a build-up. It sort of feels like they want to go the Destiny route. They want to keep it a little bit more grounded right now. And then expand to bigger enemies later on. Which is fun. And I would be A-OK -okay with that. They already said in their next live stream they're going to be announcing new heroes. Or their first post-launch hero. So, I do like the fact that they went with MODOK. Advanced Idea Mechanics is going to be great to fight. Along with the Adaptoids. It's going to be a good... Just a good, I think starting point for this game story wise but going on with what they did in the stream today they did talk about the co-op in war zones and talked about how heroes work in those in those situations and how they all work so the way co-op and war zones work co-op and war zones allow you to either play with a team of computers so you can play a team of ai computers of the characters you've unlocked in their builds or you can play online with other individuals and their heroes and how they have built them. And the way this works is really cool because it still progresses the story. Because as of the time after A-Day, AIM has a grip on the world right now. And they are... They need to be removed. Let's just put it that way. They need to be removed by the Avengers. And we have to reassemble Avengers by doing hero stories... And then bringing our powers onto co-op and war zones to loosen AIM's grip around the world. And the way they were showing off a lot of that was just by combat, the way it works. And by the way it works, I mean hero abilities. They showed off hero or heroic moves, I should say. They show off the three heroic moves that every character can get, which is assault, ultimate, and support. And they showed off a few of them. The assault they showed off was the spider bite for Black Widow, which... The way assaults work, they just build up over time with doing just normal attacks by fighting your enemies that will build up your assault meter. And when you do it, you can actually charge multiple of them and use them against your enemies throughout the battle. And like I said, they showed off the spider bite, which is Black Widow's ability. And it just looks like it's a single damage burst damage type thing. Like you fight, oh, there's one guy, bam, you dealt a lot of damage to him. The support they showed off was Thor's. They did show off Thor's ultimate and support. They didn't show off anyone else's. I kind of wish they gave everyone a little bit of a love here, but they were trying to keep it under so much time. I get it. And you know what? You don't want to reveal too much, and I respect that. Um, so the one that they showed off for the support was Warrior's Fury, which was uh, Thor's ability, which he brings down Reign of Lightning. And if your hero or your allies fly into it, they'll get struck by one of your lightning one of your lightning bolts and gain immunity for a short time which in a big room full of enemies that are shooting at you or hitting you might be a good idea so it's very helpful it gives you that immunity boost and you're able to go right back on the offensive um, and the ultimate they showed was Thor's Bifrost which has the ability to go through unbreakable shields and they did talk about how ultimates have better visual effects and some residual abilities that can help turn the tide of a battle so that all being said how you build your character and all that stuff will change how certain things work and now i'm going to get into that here in a second in the customization stuff that they talked about but overall the my thoughts on the co-op and war zones i'm going to enjoy that that's something like when i'm streaming the game i can bring in people from chat and be like hey guys come on let's go do co-op let's go do a war zone together and go have a good time with my community in the process while we play Marvel's Avengers together. Um, 
So that being said, going into quickly the customization part though, um, they did talk about how, while they were talking about co-ops and all that stuff, they talked about the skills and powers and all everything and how the way I build my Iron Man might be the way different than the way you guys build your Iron Man. Every, everybody can play the game how they want to. And that is fantastic. I appreciate that. I love that kind of stuff. I hate being, I don't, that was my biggest fear about this game. My biggest fear about this game was that it was going to be everyone plays the same character with the same ability, same everything. But no, it's the way you build your character is the way you built it. Someone else could build it a completely different way. And that's pretty cool because it also goes into the equipment stuff that you see in the stream where they, it's good. It's sort of like destiny gear. You get a power level and as you get more power, the power level goes higher and higher and higher and your, the missions get easier and easier or you're able to do harder and harder missions more easily. But one cool thing that is show off here in this stream with the, uh, the equipments and all that stuff is gamma powers. And there are certain equipments that give you certain buffs, certain abilities, stuff like that, which is amazing. I like that idea. But the cool thing they went a step in, a step beyond with was the fact that they used gamma powers and show it actually having a, a green glow while using it, which is beautiful attention to detail, which they've already shown that they have throughout the entire stream. They talked about comic book lore, when they first appeared, how much they care about the past they care about the comics they care about the backstories of the characters and so seeing that with iron man's lasers was really cool they showed it off without and with and you can see a difference it's sometimes a minor difference because there's a lot of effects going on because you're hitting people but it's noticeable you can see a little green glow coming from it knowing like hey that guy's got gamma lasers let's go and just stuff like that is really cool i do appreciate the fact that they want to make this a game that you can play through and someone else can play through and have two completely different ways of playing through it which is awesome and i like that a lot so but without trying to make this video last too much longer guys i do want to say my overall thoughts of the june war table were fantastic i liked them i like the way they're going with this game um there's still a lot of hate out there for the way the models look and you know that's one of those things i I, I, I want to do that and I'll do that in a different video but flat out I the models don't bug me the models don't bug me but I'll talk about that more in a different video and how I really want pe I really wish people would get over the idea of that I'll do that in a different video and in, in about a day or two but overall my thoughts of the June war table are I liked it it looked a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking forward to the next war table where they're going to announce the beta because I will go live for the beta and have some fun with that. And I'm looking forward to seeing who their first post deals, the post launch hero will be because they're going to add heroes. They're going to add, uh, they're going to add more heroes. They're going to add story, all this stuff. It's going to be a great time seeing how this game evolves. And like I said, a lot of it's free, like no cost from what they said. But, um, and to wrap it up in a freaking awesome bow here with this, it's, um, they showed off the Hulkbuster. I scared my neighbors downstairs, most likely, when I screamed. Because it's the freaking Hulkbuster. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's freaking fantastic. But, yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on the June War Table, guys. If you, uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below. Comment below what you guys thought of the June War Table. And as always, guys, if you like what you saw it and you want to see more, hit that awesome subscribe button. Hit that bell notification lets you know when videos go live. And also, if you guys want to play with me when Marvel's Avengers comes out, or you guys want to check out some awesome live streams of me doing crazy stuff with Destiny, Call of Duty, and just... Right now on Mondays, I'm doing Persona 4 Golden playthrough. My first ever Persona playthrough in my life. Go check me out on Twitch.com. Twitch.tv backslash Omnitoast. Twitch.com. And come check out my streams. I stream on Mondays, Monday nights, Tuesday afternoons, Thursday afternoons, and Friday nights. Those are my main four days of streaming. So go check me out on those. Um, also check me out on Twitter where I post my schedule of when I'm live and what times I'm live. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, guys. This is Omnitoast. May the power protect you all. And laters. Peace out, guys.